the first time I went to Svanedia, I was not planning on going to Svanedia. I wasn't a photographer yet, I was a backpacker. Uh, but this is the story that made me a photographer. I met a German linguist who told me about a place where people spoke a language that had never been written, that was surrounded by, you know, 17, 18,000 foot peaks. So this German linguist drew a map on a napkin for me and I transferred it into my journal and I left the next day. And on a bus ride into the mountains, a woman turned around to me after about two hours and said, where are you going? And I said, well, I'm gonna, camp when the bus stops at the end of the road. And she just looked at me and she said, no, God, please don't do that. And she took me with her and she took me to a wedding. Um, and that wedding was of the eldest daughter of the family that ended up adopting me in this region. And they got me drunk and made me dance. And I woke up the next morning in their home and they probably felt some pity on me and thought we should shelter this kid. He doesn't know what he's doing. That started a three year relationship um, that's now, I guess, a 16-year relationship now that National Geographic has sent me back. Yeah, my journals really are pretty pedestrian at times. I was very young. They're, they're embarrassing to read sometimes. Uh, but there are some things I still really love in the journals. I wrote down recipes and I wrote down vocabulary. So I would have like daily language lessons for myself. and. Of course, the songs, I wrote down all the songs. But I saw the potential for a story that was a little bit more like poetry, that was revealed more about the soul of the people and the space. And it was that third year that I returned specifically to try to make a story with pictures, and that became my first photo story. That was some of my first roles of film. It's the first story that made me fall in love. Like, with a people, with a place. That really is what it is. Like this story made me fall in love with a whole community. It was imagery of that family. That family is central to all of those early trips and the photographs. They were beautiful people, they were musical, and the home was filled with song. All the time I would wake up to singing, I would go to bed to the family singing together. And from the very first trip, they taught me their songs. And I remembered those songs when I came back 13 years later. Uh, how about... Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the songs are about heroes and about love and about your friends having your back, all the things that good country songs are about. Oh, and is that right? The reunion with my adopted family was a little embarrassing because a Georgian television crew followed me. Um, <laughs> and uh, I told them I had to stay back at the gate. It was really emotional for me, you know, and I saw my, my mother from that family, Nunu, and I went to her and I, I hugged her and it just made me start weeping. <laughs> like the songs that were really buried in me that, that just came out, like I, I love this woman, and that came out when I saw her and when I held her. And it was exciting to see them, and it was confusing to see them, and how do you restart a relationship after 13 years? But the fact that they wanted to bring me in again, that they had not forgotten me, that I, they still thought of me in that way was very moving to me, and they did, they, they took me in again. Aaron, Shinda de Kichwentan. So I've found these, I've found all the families again. I sat down with them again and sang with them again and talked to them about their lives and the old men still play chess in the backyard in the same spot. And the girls, the whole family still sings in the kitchen and there are some of those things that just never change and, and I found a lot of those again. And there were other scenes that I found that weren't necessarily literally the person in the same place, but I found the same scenes again. I found the dancers and the traditional singers, and it brought back that memory of those first images. And when I see them together side by side, like I see what has survived. These stories are not just about making pretty frames. We, we tell the stories of entire peoples. So if we do this story right, we preserve those things, you know, and 
that's what our job is, to preserve that poetry. So many people that have never heard of Swanedia or this region of the Georgian Republic or, or these people, the swans, this may be the only thing they ever read about these people. And I think that's what I look for now in all of my projects, is can I, can I keep finding that? Can I keep carrying that much?